We are also getting a better sense of the damage left behind from that tornado there in Rockdale County. Yeah, take a look. This is the area where much of the damage was done in Rockdale County. Several roads are closed, including McDaniel Mill Road. It's shut off from Iris Drive to Klondike Road. Atlanta News First Don Shipman joining us from one of the hardest hit areas in Conyers, right along West Adrian Circle. One man said it sounded like a freight train. The damage is widespread. You have to take a look because normally what you would see here is a lot of tall trees. Not anymore. If the tornado didn't uproot them, it easily snapped them off. So many stories of survival here. Everyone I talked with said they're lucky to be alive. Yeah, I got into the middle of the hallway. I just held on. Halted from their sleep in the middle of the night by what sounded like a freight train shaking their West Adrian Circle home. A massive tree now lays across Mike Gillian's and his family's driveway just steps away from their front door. The family's trampoline on its side wedged between more downed trees. And as far as damage, the house is okay or? It's damaged structurally, it's damaged from the backside, everything is. Trees are damaged all over around the house, cars, vehicles down there that can't even get out yet. Yeah. This right here is what we're noticing a lot of. A lot of trees that are down right across the way. This is a typical street. A tree down, we have to walk around here to get into this neighborhood. And we've been noticing a lot of people who live in this neighborhood having to do the exact same thing. As tree removal crews and the power company work to clear away the debris and make repairs, just down the street and around the corner, the damage is even more widespread. We're about to find out what the damage is. Using two canes to walk, Rick Hearth attempted to get a closer look at his rental property and to see if his tenant was okay. Thankfully, one of Snap and Shoals people went down there to check it out. Didn't think I could climb over that, so that's what we're waiting for. While others were not so lucky, you can see trees laying across homes, splitting roofs wide open, and even crushing this truck. Hearth's property is okay, and his tenant managed to survive the storm unharmed. Some people were blessed and others not so much. And now the Red Cross is here talking with storm victims, assessing what they'll need in the days ahead. In Conyers, Don Shipman, Atlanta News First.